We are walking upstairs that holds significant historical value. This is the site of the Morant Bay Courthouse. This courthouse was burnt down in the Morant Bay Rebellion and it was rebuilt. It was recently destroyed by fire. But this is another part, important part of Jamaica's history and heritage in artifact, which has reached a stage of deterioration that must be arrested. Otherwise, we could lose it. And that is why I have taken such great interest in the redevelopment of the historic town of Morat Bay. Right where we are standing, right in this square, many Jamaicans who participated in the rebellion would have been tried and summarily executed. It was a turning point in Jamaica's history and it deserves to be properly documented and preserved not only in books but in real estate, be preserved in a museum. And I announced in my last budget presentation that the government will make allocations and start preparations through the Chase Fund and the Jamaica National Heritage Trust to actually build a museum here that will properly curate and document and house the history of the turning point that the Morant Bay Rebellion was in Jamaica. It will be a magnificent development when it is actually undertaken. The plan is more than just the museum. The plan is to look at the entire town and convert it into the kind of old Marat Bay of sorts. It will be a place where Jamaicans can come to understand Jamaican history. I can imagine the school tours that will come and get a better appreciation of who we are as we struggle to identify ourselves through independence and now to being a republic. And this is such an important part of it. Wonderful things are planned for St. Thomas. Wonderful things. And I'm so happy to be the Prime Minister of Jamaica at this time to be able to not just conceptualize but to execute the vision of making St. Thomas a parish of history and the parish of the future of Jamaica. God bless St. Thomas.